coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. There is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook, High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed, it was the charisma, it was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's gonna look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the date for this, our main event of the evening. Three years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, here now, the better Ladies voice of the octagon, Bruce Buck. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Bruce, the Dragon Lee! All right, get the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to the corner, come back I want to see how this plays out. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And he landed the right hand there. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Let's get going. Big head kick. Big 
kick lands. Lee gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. Round two here. with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Oh, that right hand is on point. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. He's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Beautiful head kick. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. He gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Went for the inside leg kick. Just a slip there. Looking for that left hand, not there. Put him down. And a miss with the right hook. 
Nice punch there. Twenty seconds left to go in round two. Nice leg kick land. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, cash money with that left-hand counter. What a punch. Oh, head kick blocked, though, by Lee. Nice kick. Oh, high-level stuff as he counters with that right hand. Powerful leg kick lands. Striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times in the face. his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, a follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Now connects with a right. Look how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. I need you to kick now. Just out of range with that strike. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Big, Big knee, knee lands there. Land right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Just unable to quite find that range. The next with a right.
Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shin guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy. He does a great job of moving his head side to side, really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. And he continues to work the body here. Just misses with the jab. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Under two minutes to go. Nice right punch followed by a left. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Under a minute to go. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. I mean, he's cut down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, he certainly added to his highlight reel in that previous round. DC, a lot of effective kicks there to the bottom. And he did a great job of setting up those kicks. He's not throwing blind body kicks. He's not just throwing the kick. He's throwing it behind jabs. He's throwing it behind punches, making his opponent think high, and then blasting that kick right into his opponent's body. Final round, you ready? You ready? Let's go, guys. Fight. And final round. Real sneaky body kicks. Oh, big Superman punch there. Missed with that right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Slips the left hand. Him a little bit. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You got to do everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not going to win this fight. Nice straight punch. Perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. All right, so you got to be careful.
careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Lee's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. A really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Nice loop and punch. Final 10 seconds of the fight. What a 15 minutes put forth. decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 50-44. Declare the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to lead the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. You should be very proud of his performance tonight.